Welcome. So let's play Rule the Waves 2 as France, starting in 1920. It's 1947, we're two months into a war with Italy, and this is episode 63. We are in a pretty good place. Our almanac tells us they've only got two battlecruisers. They do have two building, but it's unclear how far they have those in advance. They've got eight carriers, but they are the same size as our six carriers in total tonnage. And they have three light carriers, which is uh, twice the size of our single light carrier. If you go to Intel and filter on Italy and bring it down to the present day, I noticed that they have messages like this from last year where they had to halt construction on the battlecruiser because of financial difficulties. And this one in late 45, where they had to delay the construction of a carrier. And this in September, where they also had to delay the construction of a battlecruiser. So I'm not the only one struggling with money. My balance is minus just under 5,000, although that's in part because I'm spending just over 3,000 on the invasion of Sardinia. That's not going to come about until I get a decent victory that knocks out some Italian capital ships. And that's what I'm hoping for this turn. If I don't get it, I'll probably cancel this invasion planning until I do. I'll also be helped by the finishing off of the Chateau de Chambord uh, in a couple of months' time, which will add another fleet carrier um, and hopefully significantly help in this air power dense operating environment that we're in now. So that's where we are. Let's see what June brings for us. Um, I was hoping for a fleet action, but we've got a small cruiser action off the coast of Sardinia. So let's accept that and see what we're going to get. And we've got some British joining us, which is always nice, but it's another teeny tiny battle, unfortunately. Just one light cruiser and four destroyers and a British light cruiser as well. Um, so here they all are. There's no objectives, no reports, no log. The time is twilight. It will be sunrise in 20 minutes. So if we look where we are in the map, we are a bit away away from the only Italian airbase on Sardinia. So that at least is helpful. And we have our own long range planes coming from the north coast of Africa and the south of France. So let's turn the speed up and get going and see how soon it is before we make contact. Oops. Press zero, not zero, not O. So um, that all took place pretty quickly. All right. I completely misread that. I thought it was dawn. It's dusk. Duh. Right. So a good old fashioned nighttime battle. Who knows where this is going to take us? There's been some firing on someone but not us. If I go back to the order of battle, um, no, there's nothing else I can see. So I don't, don't really know who they're firing on. I don't think they were firing on me. So let's proceed. So they're coming into uh, range more clearly. So visibility is 5,000 yards, which is pretty good. And radar vis vis visibility well, this is our radar visibility line. This green line doesn't show very, very well. But strangely, that's well beyond these ships. So I'm wondering, who are these guys firing on? And who's painting them with radar? This, this isn't super making sense. But anyhow, let's crunch up the speed. Oh, they're launching some torpedoes at somebody as well. Still no idea who they're firing at. Let's adjust course to make sure we try and keep them in our sights. And more torpedoes. I mean, I can only assume that they are 
fighting some sort of British force that I don't have sight of. And yet they're, well, of course they're not coming up on my radar. Or, of course, this all just could be a glitch. Strange you can see torpedoes in the middle of the night, but anyhow, I will take that intelligence. So, good news is they may well have spent quite a lot of their torpedoes on the mystery enemy that they are fighting. And ha, now that's my radar range. So, I'm getting this target at 3,700 yards. So, it says it's the Victor Hugo. So, they are not even not part of my force, they are completely invisible to me altogether. There is this one here. Ah, ah, so I didn't see this lot. So it is the Victor Hugo. There are some destroyers. Hooray. That's, so if that's us, where is the enemy? So I guess, first of all, I'd love to join up with the Victor Hugo, see if we can't become a combined force and join in with whoever the hell they're shooting at. Ah, okay. So there's some sort of uh, report for you. A battleship and a heavy cruiser and a light cruiser. I doubt it. I'm still going to head for the Victor Hugo. We're almost in sighting range. Ah, and there's an unidentified ship on fire. Well, they've obviously been doing some good shooting. Well done, chaps. Uh, this is the Victor Hugo. So I'm just going to... Bring down the speed a little bit and turn up. I'm going to, oh, I was going to say I was going to change it from support to core because it was so far away, but it is core. Oh, hum. I'll keep it like that just for the moment. So we should be able to see them, but mysteriously we're not. So let's just scythe through this force and but we're almost surrounded and we're still not recognizing who these people are or who this person is other than they are on fire heavy damage on fire well those are good ways of being on fire so it says it is a cruiser so that seems to be nice if we could just torpedo that ah good we've started firing Okay, slightly forgot to unpause there. Sorry for the jump. Uh, this cruiser resolved itself to being a destroyer and has gone back to being a cruiser, but in any case has sunk. And I am following along with the Victor Hugo, trying to find out where the rest of this enemy force might be. Oh, the Victor Hugo is circling around. We haven't seen very much. I'm going to fold back to the Victor Hugo. I don't know if they know something I don't know, but I certainly don't have got any other intelligence. I don't know why they're going here, but they seem keen on it. We seem to be going, I don't know, back somewhere. I'm just going to go north a little bit and see if I can see anything interesting or have anything reported. These are just reports of our own ships. So I think this is going to end up quite a dull battle. I'm going to bring the speed down to 20 knots. So we've got some aircraft taking off. If we just have a look at the time, we've got an hour and 15 minutes till dawn. Actually, I probably don't want to go too close to the coast. Okay, 
So, we had three cruisers and seven destroyers. They had a heavy cruiser somewhere. Uh, two cruisers and seven destroyers, and we sunk one. So, a tiddly tiny little victory for France. We have a quick look at the tracks. Right, so the um, the Victor Hugo led me all the way back, and in fact, the Italians had gone squiggling near to the coast of Italy. Fair enough. Let's leave that. So, a tiny marginal victory. Not what I'd really hoped. A nice breakthrough. And uh, note to all of those. Little corvette of theirs sunk. And we've damaged a BB. Well, they don't have any BBs. So, perhaps it's one of their battle cruisers. Oh, come on. Our brand new carrier. Out of the blue gets sunk. Really? Really? Ouch, that really hurts. Um, yeah, that all just seemed a bit uh, unfair and unfriendly. They've got one of their heavy cruisers sinking on raiding, so that's fine by me. And I appear to be blockading the enemy. So if I go to the map and look at this, we whoops, we have 212 and they have 208. Okay, not quite as much as I'd like. Wow, um, that's that's pretty. Just torpedoed by. An Italian submarine has only been in service just a handful of years and of course presumably it lost all of its aeroplanes on it too. Nasty. Very nasty. Okay well saved us a bit of money apparently. We will resume this. Okay cost 6,000. But this is going to be finished very soon. Very soon. And replace our loss. Unbelievable. A convoy attack, a replication of the situation from the first battle that we had. So let's see how this one goes. I think I'd like to suppress enemy airfields. I have a feeling that might be useful and the British have joined us. So thanks for that. And looks, a, I was gonna say looks a slightly more powerful force, but it's not. Just a bunch of destroyers. A pile of air bases, and here we are. It's daylight. Dusk will be in 15 minutes. So, okay. Let's go in here. Yep, just a selection of destroyers with a with four British. Thank you very much, Britain. And there's glare. You don't often see glare. So that's our target, which we can't adjust until we get things going. So let's press zero and boom. There we have it. Radar contact. So this is our daylight, but that's going to go any minute. This is our radar, which is actually slightly further than our visual sighting. And of course, these are our guns and our torpedoes. Very similar. All going to be moot pretty soon. Crank up the speed to maximum. Let's go zooming down and have a sniff at what's happening with these ships. So, hmm, if I hover over, it just says unidentified. Oh, well, that says DD. Looking at the wind in a kind of old-fashioned way, it's blowing from their ships towards me. So I probably don't really want this angle. It depends where they're going. Are they just heading to the uh, southeast? In which case I might want to take a more southerly course and head them off. 
or if that's a lot of their ships then I might want to, uh, let me just turn off the ship name on, that's no use, is it? Okay, so destroyers, and these seem bigger. So, but plenty faster. Oh no, they're resolving into destroyers as well. I guess, you know, we've got a big destroyer force, they've got a big destroyer force. Question is, where is the convoy? Let's skim over the top of them. And see if we... Ignore them. So a bit of gunfire. Uh, as you can see, I'm just doing a nice stately course heading west, and they're all doing their own thing. But you know, fine and fair enough. What I want to know is where is the convoy? So I'm hoping they're ahead of the convoy. Let me just zoom out. So nothing on radar yet. Just seeing what formation. Okay, they're in a screen. I don't want them to be in a screen. I want them to be support, and I want them to be line ahead. I don't mind the AI control at this point. These guys are core and line ahead, and these are support and line abreast. So let's put them line ahead as well. Oops, I had to put them onto. So the Italians are being quite demonstrative. Oh, we've launched some torpedoes already. Let's swing rounds. Maybe, I mean, they were very ambitious torpedoes. Some would say folly. Ten minutes to sunset. Now they're disappearing. So should we follow them? Let me just check how long we've got. So eight hours of darkness. We are charging about in the dark. They're the Italian destroyers, but actually I'm not really interested in them. I want to find the convoy. Oh, well, I mean, Obviously, if we sink some destroyers, that would be nice too. I'm wondering whether I need to go kind of line abreast in a good old fashioned scouting line. Let's slow them down a little bit. Now, I've definitely said line abreast, and it says line abreast here, but they're not abreasting very well. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Hello. What do we have here? Nice regular columns of ships. That will do nicely, sir. Okay. Now we can crank it back up to, well, I was going to say maximum speed, but it never seems to have gone down. So I'm going to go for the ships. Mm. Okay, so you can pretty much see transports, 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 a couple of destroyers, a destroyer there, possibly that's a destroyer as well, and a couple of destroyers there as well. I'm going to go for this lot first of all because they seem to be unguarded. And go up the side. Score some hits and things. I'm going to change this line of breast because it's done nothing whatsoever. That's line ahead anyhow. And so is that. So everyone's ignoring my uh, idea. There goes a torpedo. So how many was it? We're supposed to sink six. So if we can sink these four, 
that will be a very good start. And if we go down this lot, overwhelm these two Italian destroyers with a murderous fire kind of thing. A couple more torpedo hits. Swing them round. And go up and see if we can sort out that lot. Here come the rest of the Italian destroyers. A little bit late, mate. So this is a Corvette. One more Italian destroyer. And the Corvette's been torpedoed. And this all seems great fun. No idea how many ships we've actually hit. I mean, presumably we've, yeah, we've done all of our torpedoes. Struggling with the uh, ammunition, having so much fun. So we've got two transports, another two stationary. One of them is crawling. The Corvette oh, has gone as well. So all having a very good swirl. Let's see if we can get hit. Man, he's going to go down. OK, so we're going to lose one destroyer. We might lose these two as well. Oh, well, uh, one of theirs blows up. So let's take you and bring your speed right down. And see if you can behave yourself. Let's do a similar thing for you. Let's uh, perhaps take control of some of these ships which seem to have slightly suicidal tendencies. I think we probably are fine. So I think that's most of us retreating. Oh, this one's rudder is stuck. And is sinking. Hopefully, for most of us, that is all we need. Mm. 
and grenades under our control. And these. Oh, that seemed unfortunate. Let's see if I can limp away. On this engagement. And that should be that. Uh, randomness was kind of going the wrong way really they should be heading down there as long as that doesn't take us within range of the italians that will be fine I think we won that, even though we may have lost a couple of destroyers against them. I don't know, one? One and a Corvette. We'll see. Reports of them nearly entering port from our search planes. And there we go. So we lost two. They lost two, uh, one in a Corvette and 10 merchant ships. So they scored 10,000 and we scored 33,000. So not awful. Let's just close that out and Another prestige point, not that I particularly care, but um, yeah, as predicted, that first battle of Sardinia wasn't going to be the only one. British government's offering to sell us radar. Yes, please. So thanks for that. Very helpful airborne radar. And another one, uh, AP projectiles. And another one as well, <laughs> magnetic mines. <laughs> And yet another, that's four in a row. Uh, da, 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 da. New model aircraft. Let's see what that's like. So, same speed, same range, same, same, same. Slightly more firepower. Not really. Well, given that we've only developed um, just enough to have them in service, that's nothing of interest. And we still can't do it because we are not of enough dominance. They put two heavy cruisers, but the amount that they're getting from that is so negligible. Funny it says gain 180 VP for blockade of enemy, but it, it doesn't say that we're blocking. But anyhow, uh, let's go back to the map. We are 209. They are 245, but of course the British are another 151. Over here, we're just a few, and the Italians are just some heavy cruisers. Well, that's fine if that's what they want to do. Okay, tiddly widdly battles all the way through so far. A big engagement, a big battle is about to come. I feel it in my bones. Um, but for now, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.